example to Fannie Mae. Rebuttals should address the issues cited in the letter and may include documentation to support the rebuttal. What should an appraiser do if he or she believes that the rebuttal would violate the confidentiality section of the ethics rule as set forth in the Uniform Standards of Professional Appraisal Practice USPAP Q7 Fannie Mae expects that appraisers will be able to respond to most if not all AQM correspondence using publicly available information. Moreover, USPAP specifically authorizes an appraiser to disclose confidential information to persons specifically authorized by the client, the lender. Fannie Mae Selling Guide, which forms part of a lender's contract with Fannie Mae, states all records related to loans, including all data and materials representing, based on, or compiled from such records, sold to or serviced for Fannie Mae or Fannie Mae's property and any other owner of or participation interest in the loan regardless of their physical form or characteristics or whether they are developed or originated by the loan seller, servicer, or others. Selling Guide A2-5.1-02 The property appraisal is included as a loan-related record. Q8. Does Fannie Mae report to state regulatory boards and or law enforcement? When an appraisal is found to have deficiencies that are severe enough to impact eligibility of the loan for delivery, Fannie Mae may at its discretion share that appraisal with the applicable state agency after we have completed multiple layers of due diligence to validate the findings. The resulting volume of notifications is a very small fraction of the total number of appraisals we receive. Q9. What are the implications of 100% post-acquisition review for egregious issues? Fannie Mae will accept loans that include an appraisal by an appraiser whose work product is subject to 100% post-acquisition review. These acquisitions are selected for a quality control review which may involve an in-depth review of the appraisal and other aspects of loan eligibility. Lenders are responsible for selecting appraisers who have the requisite qualifications and knowledge required to perform a professional quality appraisal. The quality of an appraiser's work is a key criterion that must be used in determining which appraisers the lender or its authorized agent uses for its assignments. If a loan is found in the post-acquisition review to be ineligible for delivery to Fannie Mae for any reason, it will be subject to the standard remedies for the selling guide, including repurchase. Fannie Mae also conducts an initial loan eligibility assessment on all acquisitions using loan-level assessment tools, including technology and proprietary analytical models, to identify loan files that may merit further review. Based on the assessment, Fannie Mae may choose to conduct further review of any aspects of loan eligibility, including the appraisal. These selections are made regardless of whether the appraiser's work is subject to 100% post-acquisition review. Q10. Could the 100% post-acquisition review apply to appraisals submitted before the effective date of the 100% review list? Yes. Because Fannie Mae conducts post-purchase reviews at different times after loan acquisition, the selection of a specific appraiser for 100% post-acquisition review could trigger reviews of appraisals on loans that were delivered several months earlier. For example, an appraisal is submitted to UCDP in mid-September and the loan is delivered to Fannie Mae a week later. In early October, the appraiser becomes subject to 100% review. The loan goes through discretionary post-purchase review with other September acquisitions in January because the appraiser is on the 100% quality control list. It is selected for appraisal review regardless of any other factors. Lenders should not consider placement of an appraiser on the 100% review list as the only trigger for further review of loans with appraisal concerns and must be mindful of their responsibilities. Under the provisions of the Selling Guide B41.1-03, Appraiser Selection If patterns of egregious issues are discovered within an appraiser's work, there's a high copyright 2020 Fannie Mae February 2020 page 204.